Hi, I'm Joey Henderson with iConnect, and I'd like to show you how to use our TU 210E model, as well as our gas model boiler system, and how to start it up. Now, there's a few things you want to be aware of, is first make sure there's no power to this unit. You do not want to run this unit without it being fully filled with water. So make sure the power's off completely. And then we're going to give you in a package, this here is a wash machine hose connection. And this will allow you to hook up a water hose, okay, right here to the inlet of the piping system. So your water hose will go on this end right here. And then this right here is our inlet valve. So you would make sure this is off first, get your water supply right here, and then you're gonna open this up to fill. Now, I've already filled this one up. So um, now once you're done, you open this up, you're gonna allow the water to go in. This here is a pressure reducing valve. It has a handle here. Right now it is in the automatic mode to where it's gonna regulate the water pressure because your water pressure can be very high, 60 PSI or more coming in, and you don't want this system to be more than 12 to 15 PSI in the system. Now these are presets, so you don't have to adjust that. But what you can do to fill this up fairly quickly is go ahead and lift this valve all the way up, and that's gonna press this diaphragm down and allow the water to go in very quickly, okay? So when that happens, this right here is an air separator, and you'll begin to hear the air start hissing out of it. it does a great job, let it work. And then also, you wanna come down here. I'm gonna remove this. And you're gonna look down here at these valves, okay? These are water valves and water zone valves, and they all need to be in the manually open position. Now the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna reach down here on this lever, and you're gonna push it all the way to the right, and then you're gonna push up on it, and it'll catch, and it'll stay open. So you gotta make sure they're all manually open before you begin to fill up the system. And of course, if you do this after you get the water going, no problem at all. Once the system is getting filled up, you'll hear the air stop coming out of this air separator. Then you wanna take a flathead screwdriver and come over here and open this relief valve right here, where this um, air valve right here, and until it starts dripping water, okay? and it'll start just spewing and then water will come out. Then you wanna come over here and you wanna do this valve here and this valve here. And once you open these up, bled the air out, getting some water, then you're good to go. Once that's done, this system is completely filled with water. Now you can begin the process of starting up the boiler. Okay, let's get a little closer over here to the gas fired boiler. So now you've got a whole gas training going on here. You can train inlet gas pressure to be measured on the gas valve, how to measure manifold pressure coming out of the gas valve, how a gas valve operates for 24 volts. You can also discuss with them the uh, control board with all the fault lights on it and each of the scenarios that will occur with those. And then you've also got over here the very important discussion about the pressure and temperature inside a boiler. We got our transform up here as well. So we've got low voltage training, we've got gas training, we've got a circuit board training. In and of itself can give you a bunch of troubleshooting scenarios. And then of course we have our fault switches built in to also create stuff as well. So now you've got a full gas boiler going on along with a zone system and with this you can teach all these lessons and many more and remember the only limitation is your imagination